New tonight, first at five, an inmate at the Erie County Holding Center has died after hanging himself in a cell. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott Levin is off tonight. Now here's what we know at this point. The sheriff's office says Michael Gerard used bedding to hang himself in his cell last week. He was discovered around one Friday morning. Deputies used an AED, Narcan, and performed CPR until he regained a pulse, but Gerard died Sunday at the hospital. Today, two on your side's Jeff Preval had tough questions for Erie County Sheriff Tim Howard about this inmate's care and whether the sheriff's office is doing enough to prevent inmate deaths. Is the sheriff's office doing everything that it can to prevent inmate deaths? We're doing everything reasonable to prevent inmate deaths. And Sheriff Tim Howard says deputies and medical staff did everything they could for Michael Gerard. When Gerard was admitted into the holding center, Sheriff Howard says Gerard never mentioned a drug addiction. Based on the information he provided when he came in, he was classified and placed in veterans housing. Then Howard confirms deputies learned that Gerard may have had an addiction problem and was transferred to another unit. The sheriff's office says in the four days Gerard was locked up, he was seen eight times by mental health and medical staff and seen every 15 minutes by deputies. Howard wouldn't say if there's any surveillance video. After finding Gerard hanging in his cell, the sheriff's office says deputies perform CPR, use a defibrillator and Narcan. Was that because there was an understanding that he may have overdosed or, or what? It's not always applied because you know that that's the, the, the problem results from drug use, but it's something that you would use when you don't know exactly what it is that's causing the medical problem. What was the timeline from the attempt I can't do to, timelines. to I, him no, being it, transported it, to the it, hospital? I, I don't have that now. The sheriff's office says Gerard died at Buffalo General two days later. According to the Erie County Prisoner Rights Coalition, this makes at least 23 inmate deaths since 2009. What's your reaction to the public perception out there that inmates constantly die at the holding center? Um, bad things happen in jails because of the people that are sent to jail. Um, we make reasonable efforts to prevent bad things from happening. And it has informed the State Commission of Correction of this latest inmate death. That is standard protocol. It's also standard for the commission to do an investigation, and that is what is now happening. Now, the holding center still remains under review by the Department of Justice. That's been a long-standing review. And coming up at 6, you'll hear from a local prisoner rights organization that's infuriated about the number of inmate deaths. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, I'm Jeff Pavral, Channel 2 News.